homeschooling. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong umaga nito. Interesado pa kayong malaman paano kami nagsimulang mag-homeschool? A lot of people are asking me, paano daw ba kami nagsimulang mag-homeschool? Sa video na to, isi-share ko sa inyo paano kami nagsimulang mag-homeschool at ano ang mga bagay na mali sa paniniwala natin about homeschooling. So stay tuned! Hi, I'm Lynn. I am a homeschool mom and an online entrepreneur. Kindly click the subscribe and the bell buttons because I am planning to share video every now and then about homeschooling. Okay, let's start. Uh, sa video na to, I am going to discuss about the five lies of homeschooling. So, ready na ba kayo? Number one, homeschooling is expensive. Yan ang lahi ko naririnig sa mga tao na nagpaplanong mag-homeschool. Actually, yan din naman ang naririnig ko o yan din naman ang alam ko nung mag-start kami mag-homeschool. Ang pagkakaalam ko, ang homeschool para lang siya sa mga mayayaman, sa mga may pera, dahil masyadong mahal kapag nag-start ako mag-homeschool. Pero upon starting homeschooling, I've realized and I've learned that homeschool is for everyone. It doesn't matter kung mayaman ka, kung may pera ka, kung mahirap ka, or kung saan ka man. Because homeschooling is a, a natural way of teaching your kids For example, tayong mga mother, it's already an instinct to us na turuan ng ating mga anak. Kahit tumapasok pa yan araw-araw sa school or kahit araw-araw mong inahatid sa eskwelahan, pagbalik at pag nila sa, sa bahay, uh, masasabi kong ino-homeschool pa rin natin sila dahil natuturuan natin sila ng mga bagay-bagay na kailangan nilang malaman para makasurvive sa buhay. Number two, kailangan daw professional ang magulang. No! It doesn't matter if the parents is professional or not. Uh, I admit, uh, I am a college graduate. I even uh, finished my master's degree. But at the end of the day, hindi naman ito tungkol dun sa degree or tungkol dun sa kung anong natapos mo bilang isang magulang. Homeschooling is about uh, creating the character of your children. It's about giving them the best. Homeschooling is about building, building the character of your children. Sorry na iiyak ako because... I cannot believe na magsishare ako ng mga video na to about homeschooling because uh, ayoko sana before kasi I believe I am not qualified to be called as a homeschool ma because nung mag-start kami nito, it was not my decision to start homeschooling and then until now, ayoko sana mag-share because I said baka hindi pa talaga kami qualified to be called as homeschool But after this COVID-19, I realize it's part of my purpose or it's part of my being na i-share ko kung ano ba talaga ang nagawa ng homeschool sa amin. Homeschool change, change our lives. Uh, homeschool change me as a mother kasi uh, I realize it's not all about, it's not all about the money, it's not all about how, how good our, our environment uh, was or kung paano kaganda ang pinanggalingan natin. Homeschool is really changing the lives of your children. It's about giving them the best that you can. Hindi kailangan professional ka, hindi kailangan may pinag-aralan ka, no. Uh, because homeschool is really building the character of your children. For example, ngayon na naka-quarantine tayo, I realize na ang laking bagay pala na nakapag-homeschool kami for 12 years. 12 years na kaming nag-homeschool. Uh, now na naka-quarantine and all of these things that are happening around, I realize uh, how my children were influenced by this homeschool. Uh, hindi mo kailangan maging professional para makapag-homeschool lang because uh, homeschool is about uh, character building or building the character of your children. Na at the end of the day, ano man ang mangyari, ano man ang maging karanasan natin, they were able to survive and they were able to decide as a better individual. Number three lies. Homeschool family doesn't have any socialization. Actually, nung mag-start kaming mag-homeschool, 
uh, wala kami dito sa Pilipinas. We are outside of the country. But then, uh, that's where we realize na we really need to homeschool our kids for them to for them to start their lives outside of the Philippines. And socialization became one big issue sa pag-homeschool namin kasi ang sabi nila, paano daw yung socialization ng mga bata, paano daw yung pakikisamahan nila, paano yung mga... Actually, sa school, it's not all about socialization actually. In school, it's all about discipline. Paano ka ba matututong gumawa ng mga assignment? Paano ka magiging discipline gumising sa umaga? And nang ginawa namin, nung nag-start kami mag-homeschool, we look for a family na nag-homeschool din. And then we connected with this family. Naki, nakisama kami sa kanila. We asked them, uh, what are the activities? Ano yung... So, socialization is never an issue sa pag-homeschool namin. Because you can you can find several homeschooling homeschool family para pakisamahan mo at makipag-socialize sa kanila. And until now, I don't see any issues sa socialization. Not because of walang walang pakikisama ang mga anak ko. They can they can go with anybody and with any age as possible. Pwede silang makisama sa kahit anong age at kahit sinong tao. Ang um, socialization siguro naging isang malawak na lang na issue sa atin because Filipino are a social, socialized country. Kahit saan tayo, pwedeng makiusap, kahit sa katabing bahay or everywhere. But uh, socialization, if you are going to define socialization, it's a big word. Hindi ka lang dapat nagkikipag-usap because you want to. But you, you need you need to. Homeschool is not accredited in our country or dito sa Pilipinas. Yeah, uh, we started homeschooling in other country. Maraming nag-homeschool doon. So we decided, that's the reason why we decided to homeschool our kids. Kasi we cannot send them to, the, to their public school. Kasi nga, iba yung belief nila sa belief natin. So my husband and I decided to homeschool them, to start homeschooling them because of our environment. So if you ask me dito sa Pilipinas, Actually, when we came back home 2018, we realized na ang dami na palang nag-homeschool dito. And most of the homeschool family are more organized compared sa ibang bansa. And regarding the accreditation of the homeschool, homeschool children, actually there are a lot of schools now in the Philippines who are accredited by DepEd to do homeschooling. So you just have to look for those schools na accredited para makastart kang mag-homeschool. Or maybe next time, I will discuss with you uh, sino-sino nga ba ang mga school na pwedeng puntahan para makapag-enroll makapag kayo sa homeschool and magiging credited lahat ng subject na kukunin ng mga anak ninyo. Number five, homeschool is not for me and it's not true. Homeschool is for everyone. Uh, I, I I remember when we started doing homeschooling, talagang ayoko siya because I felt that I was not qualified to be a homeschool mother. Uh, and it's not my children's problems. Actually, it's my it's my insecurities that falls under that one na homeschool is not for me. Kasi nga iniisip ko, ano ang gagawin ko sa mga bata? What am I going to teach them? Though I graduated a uh, Bachelor of Science in Education, pero I am not confident na matutuluan ko sila ng tama because during my during my school days, hindi naman ako ganun katalino. That is for me. That is my own personal evaluation of myself, which is hindi pala tama. Because uh, a, lot, a lot of things, a lot of standards was, was set up sa ating mga 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 Pilipino na we are not good enough, na we are not, uh, we are not qualified to do this one. When we started homeschooling, the the wall, yung wall na nandoon na nakabara or naka nakaharang doon sa harapan ko, unti-unti sila nagsipag tumbaan. Then I realized it's not because uh, I don't know how to speak English properly, it's not because I am not good in grammar, hindi na ako magaling or hindi na ako pwedeng mag-homeschool. Not because I am not uh, I am not that smart enough. Nung nag-aaral ako, hindi ko na pwedeng homeschool ang anak ko, no. Because homeschooling is, uh, as what I have said, homeschooling is a character building. It's not about intellect. It's not about uh, kung gaano kakagaling bilang magulang. It's not about gaano kakagaling mag-English. It's not about 
how you how you go ahead in your life sa mga kasama mo dati it's not all about you actually homeschooling is about your kids homeschooling is about defining the future of your kids kung gusto mong makita ang future ng anak mo you need to do homeschooling right now uh, especially kasi uh, maraming marami akong naririnig na homeschool is not for me honestly it's not a question about you it's a question about how do you want your kids to grow up how do you want your kids to be a better better version of you how do you want your kids to survive in the coming years by holding on to the God's words especially now sa mga nangyayari ngayon sa paligid natin the reason why I have this confidence to share our homeschool journey now right now is because uh, ang laki ng naitulong ng homeschool sa amin honestly if I was not able to homeschool my kids 10, 12 years ago hindi siguro ako ganito ka strong to tell you how good our God is to tell you how how good our life is to tell you a brighter future is waiting for all of us so that's it for today uh, thank you for watching uh, my first ever video about homeschooling kindly subscribe and click the bell button so that you will be updated every now and then I am planning to post video about homeschooling uh, twice a week uh, para ma-share ko naman sa inyo how homeschooling changed our life and it can also change yours so kung may questions kayo if you have any anything that uh, came into your mind and you want to know the answer about homeschooling uh, maybe I can share uh, I can share something uh, based on our experience just message or comment below and then I will answer it next time, next video. Thank you and God bless.